Hello everyone, I am today using the Erbauer multi-tool. I got mine from um, Screwfix. Um, I have got the model EMT 300 QC. Now I didn't find the instructions particularly helpful um, in terms of how to change um, the tools and release this, this um, flange bolt. So I just thought I'd pop on and do a quick video um, to help you. So the first thing that you need to do is take this flange lever, flick it up as far as it goes. You will see on the top that it's got an unlock and then a locked sign. So I need to twist it to the left or anti-clockwise um, to release the flange bolt. So what I do is twist it anti-clockwise and almost straight away I can feel some resistance. So I just need to push past that and then you should be able to twist the lever really, really easily. And what's happening is this bolt here, I don't know if you can see, it's just gradually moving away from the main body of the tool. Okay, so that's probably probably enough for what I need. So just remember, you do need to push past that resistance just to loosen the bolt. So then I take my sanding, I'm gonna use my sanding block today. And now it's important to make sure that it's aligned properly. So I'm just gonna put my finger on it so that it stays straight. So what I need to do now is take the lever and twist it to the right or clockwise and you'll feel that that bolt is tightening up and I can just start to now feel a bit of resistance so I'll push past that not too much then push the lever forwards and twist it back into position and now I can feel that that is really really firm and I am ready to go off and use my multi-tool I'll just show you with another accessory. So I'm gonna release it like I did before, twist anti-clockwise and then push past that bit of resistance until I can loosen it up easily. I'm gonna take that accessory off and this time I'm just gonna pop on this wood cutting tool. Again, I want to make sure that I'm just gonna hold it and just make sure that I keep it up how I want it so that it's straight. And again, I'm going to twist and still I can feel the resistance. There it is. I'm going to twist it a bit more with a bit of force. Then I can push the flange lever back into position, click it down. And again, that's firm and it's all ready to go and use. I hope this video has helped some of you who might have been feeling frustrated with the instructions in your um, uh, Bauer multi-tool and I'll see you again soon. Bye!